destroying rainforests for economic gain is like burning a Renaissance painting to cook a meal, E. O. Wilson once said. But apparently, only a few listen carefully. My name is Zara Maharani Khalisha Ariana, and I am concerned about the impacts of deforestation on our human health. 79% of my survey respondents say that deforestation is awful and everywhere. Why is there still no action? How come deforestation continues to grow and grow when we know that deforestation is such a big problem? I will look through the reasons why deforestation is a huge issue, specifically the diseases it causes, and the proof. First of all, deforestation triggers a complex cascade of events, creating the conditions for a wide range of deadly pathogens, such as the Nipah and Lassa viruses, which are spread by rats and bats, and the parasites that cause malaria and Lyme disease, which have flu-like symptoms, to spread to people. It's pretty well established that deforestation is a strong driver of infectious disease transmission, says Andy MacDonald, a disease ecologist at the Earth Research Institute of the University of California, Santa Barbara. It's a numbers game. The more we degrade and clear forest habitats, the more likely we're going to find ourselves in these situations where epidemics of infectious diseases occur. Or even worse, as National Geographic reports, they say that the next serious pandemic could emerge from our world's forests. Second, deforestation is the main cause of a steep rise in human malaria cases. Malaria is a serious and sometimes fatal disease caused by a parasite that commonly infects a certain type of mosquito which feeds on humans. People with malaria usually feel very sick with high fever and shaking chills. For ages, Mammals and mosquitoes have exchanged lots of pathogens from the world's forests. Because they evolved together, these pathogens create few or no symptoms to their hosts, providing a protective effect from a homegrown affection. But humans often have no such protection. According to the World Health Organization, malaria can cause anemia and jaundice or yellow coloring of the skin and the eyes due to the loss of red blood cells. If not promptly treated, malaria can cause kidney failure, seizures, mental confusion, coma, and ultimately, death. Third, deforestation can cause the Nipah virus. In 1997, Indonesia, an area roughly the size of Pennsylvania, was burned down to make way for agriculture. The fruit bats who lived there had no other option than to fly elsewhere, carrying with them a deadly disease, Nipah, or NIV. Not long after they settled into Malaysian orchards, pigs and local pig farmers started falling sick. By 1999, over 200 people had brain inflammation and 100 had died, according to the National Geographic. NIV is zoonotic, meaning that it can spread between animals and people, according to the CDC. Infection with the NIV is often associated with encephalitis or swelling of the brain and can cause death. Deforestation is a huge issue that must be solved. It can cause malaria and Nipah, Lassa and Lyme, and even create the next serious pandemic. Thankfully, 
There are ways to stop it before it's too late. It starts with ourselves and being responsible to do very simple things like planting trees, being sustainable, going paperless, and using biodegradable things. Remember, we only have one planet Earth, and if we don't make everything count, we could lose our beautiful planet Earth to low health and pandemics. Thank you very much, and remember to do your part.